So in, in 2001, this kind of goes in line with trying new things, you directed your first film, Mr. In Between, which picked up quite a few awards at the international film festivals, as well as the uh, British Independent Film Awards. Um, what was that experience like in comparison to... Well, I'm, I'm curious what, uh, what, what it was directing something you always wanted to try. And can you tell us how it felt uh, to have someone else behind the camera uh, on that project? Yeah, the, uh, uh, Mr. In-Between, which was the original title, uh, was, a, was a British film that uh, I, I had just uh, moved uh, with my family to, uh, to England. And the, literally the phone rang one day and I picked it up. And uh, it was someone saying, um, we, we've got some money together. Would you like to uh, direct a movie in, in four weeks? And uh, stupidly, I said, yeah, of course, uh, which I think um, so many people, uh, you know, want to want to direct a movie. And, and so did I. Um, it was a brilliant experience. And uh, I, 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 of course, was confronted with the immediately the, the question, uh, do, do I want to shoot it, too? Or do I want to work with somebody else? And and uh, uh, happily, I I. I went with the notion of, of working with somebody uh, who, who literally I had just met a few weeks before in Poland. There's a, uh, an amazing film festival called Kameramaj, which uh, is for cinematographers. And uh, he was there with his first feature. And I just, uh, uh, I, I actually didn't see his film, but uh, it, it was such a pleasure spending time with him because that, that's actually a huge uh, um, uh, factor in working on film is that you get along with the people that you 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 work with uh because you're you're kind of uh you almost spend more uh conscious uh, uh time of your day uh with with these complete strangers uh who, who you're working together to make a film than with your family so you, you better get along with them so i i was blessed to work with uh harris sambar lucos who i i met and he, he shot the film and it was it was absolutely fantastic. So you mentioned earlier working with that director who you guys have worked with several times and that comfortability of being able to just do your thing. So let me ask you this. It would you not prefer, but what is the feeling when you actually direct? Is it, it if you, when you are directing, is that something that you take? I know you take ownership in it, but it's not being the cinematographer. It's like, hey, when you're directing, do you have to be the cinematographer or do you prefer to do standalone job of just being that director? What's for you? And, and I have just a quick segue on that. When you as what kind of director were you like were you somebody that 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 communicated the visual to the dp or did you leave that up to the dp and kind of take a break from that for a project yeah no it's 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 funny how quickly when you switch uh jobs uh how you become the director that you uh uh you you wouldn't imagine you, you would think that uh you would be more sympathetic to the the needs of the cinematographer, but it, but in fact, you you you're very quickly, uh, that's his problem, and uh, and he can start those. But but I I don't think I was evil and uh, 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 like a dictator or anything like that. And I I so resisted getting involved, uh, like overly connected to the camera because I I, I putting myself in his shoes. Uh, you know, again, you want to be sort of left alone to do your thing, uh, and and not be interfered and and with and and you know questioned or you know you 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 got to leave a little bit of room for 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 the cinematographer to do their thing um so i i, I tried very much to be uh that kind of a, a director but it, it was it was really great to to allow to give up stuff and uh con because you have to concentrate on other things um it, it doesn't mean that you're not uh being visual as a director, uh, but uh, but there are certain things where you just need to back off and, and uh, uh, let them do their thing. But you'd still want to see the dailies at the end of the day, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Find us in all these links, it's coming up right now. That's the trailer.